Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Green Family Legacy and we're here with Lily and Zoe and their daughter Alia and we're here with Alia who's currently still grounded because a couple days ago she sort of blew up her mother's rocket ship and that's kind of a big deal. She took her ro their rocket ship out without permission which is extremely dangerous to do. She went joyriding in space. She boarded like a derelict old abandoned spaceship, stole some aliens that were on there and crashed the ship back onto the earth so she's kind of in big trouble but she's really trying hard to make up for it she's working hard at her studies she's doing extra credit homework she got a new job because she has to pay back her mom the 1000 simoleons it costs to fix the spaceship again and she came home from school and she's immediately started doing chores so zoe just got home i think zoe will come over and give her daughter a hug though because she really loves her daughter praise for good grades there you go every little bit counts We'll go ahead and have Zoe come down and praise her daughter for good grades because Alia knows she's in big trouble. She knows she's really done it this time, but she is working very hard in school and she actually got like a little random event uh, yesterday that mentioned how she was studying really hard at like the SCATs, which I imagine are like the Sims version of the ACT or uh, any of those kinds of tests. Um, let's see. Let's do... Can we do a little hug? Ask about Sim. Ooh, ask about another Sim. Can we ask about... What the heck? Why do you hate a, a little boy? What on earth happened with Devanti? That means that like they hate them. Wow, I didn't know about that. I wanted to have her ask about um, the alien boy that that Alia has been kissing on, but it looks like her moms don't know about him just yet. So, hmm, I wonder when rumor, rumors will reach their ears. So let's see, did we praise her for her good grades? I don't know if we did. There we go. So there we go. And then did something about responsibilities I thought I saw? Joke about penguins, take a picture together. Can I do anything about responsibilities? I thought I saw something that said that. Because it's very... Express admiration. Well, you're still in trouble, young Missy. Lecture about responsibilities. <laughs> okay, we're going to we're gonna do that. And then we're going to say, okay, well, you are grounded. And I'm very tired. Because Zoe has just had an absolutely wonderful day out with her Joy Club. She got to meet with everybody in the Joy Club. She really got to know some of them quite a bit better. Derek seems to be super happy. I think maybe when they become best friends with Zoe is when they'll graduate from the Joy Club club they actually ended up making friendship bracelets too which is so adorable so we're gonna say there's like little friendship um jewelry of some kind like rings or bracelets that they use all right no don't clean everything and we're gonna go ahead and let zoe go up here and take a nap in their bedroom so she's gonna go sleep and Alia is going to be in charge of like cleaning up the house and trying to fix things a little bit i think that her moms would be willing to let her try to fix the fridge um, if Lily doesn't get home first, because if she thinks she's hot stuff enough to go ahead and take spaceships into, like, space, then she should be able to fix the fridge. Can I have her repair that? Yeah. Plus, they're almost out of money. So, yeah. I think that she's going to contribute what she has in her... Yeah, okay. We'll contribute to help out with the bills, I think. But I don't think that... I, we're not going to count this money that we're currently making as they're going to help. It's just to help the bills. It's not going to count. What on earth? Why is that worth so much? Hello? Superb blackberries? I had no idea they sold for so much. Unfortunately, she has zero interest in growing blackberries. So we're just going to go ahead and sell these. So we have a bit more money. There we go. So this actually is a huge help. But we're going to say this is more like... Tate splitting some money with the family from Alia helping out with um yeah from Alia helping out with his gardening because Alia still has to get a job a big part of why her mom Lily at least uh wanted her to get a job outside of the house and outside of the family is so she can le start learning about responsibilities and being um accountable to ooh, being accountable to your boss and let's see what Lily is currently doing Dangerous shipment. A new client contacts Lily about a shipment of dire space chinchillas. <laughs> Lily's never shipped them before. They have nasty little teeth, and if she's caught with them, they could land her in space prison. Should she take the dangerous job or just ignore it? I think that she'd take it. She's feeling a little bit on edge from her daughter, like getting in so much trouble. She's thinking about the money that they kind of need to make to make sure the bills are paid. 
Luckily, the new client has deep pockets. When Lily delivers the dire chinchillas, he pays her double the street value of the critters. And Lily only suffered a few minor lacerations. No problem. Oh, that's so cool. So we have 5,000 or 500 more Simulonians. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and try to repair this. Because... Yeah, if Alia thinks that she's cool enough and good at this enough that she can just jump on a spaceship, then she should definitely have enough repair skills that she can fix a fridge. So I don't think her moms are too worried about that. All right, what's this? Oh, the lacerations that she got from the space chinchillas. <laughs> we might we might call Pine over because he used to be a doctor and be like, so. And actually, Lily helped Pine get his job at the spaceport, so he's or at the science research facilities. Speaking of which, Pine actually helps out with designing like superhero gear, kind of like the scientists behind the Avengers or something like that. Which means that one day we need to add in some of those superheroes. So that would be pretty fun. All right, and I think that Alia would also start breeding frogs and selling frogs in the background. Ooh, she got a common upgrade part. Yay! And she upgraded her handiness skill. I'm so proud of you, Alia. All right, what's she doing? Chat with Brandy. Who's Brandy? How do you know Brandy? Is Brandy coming into our house? I didn't invite Brandy in. Where's Brandy? Well, you're gonna are you gonna go talk with her? Why is there trash out in our front yard? I guess we could scavenge it for parts. All right, where's this Brandy woman? Who knows? I'm gonna let her go ahead and do that because teenagers are a little impulsive. And I'm totally willing to, like, let her kind of take the lead. Especially because her mom is napping. And her other mom is currently off uh, in space. Where are you going? Did you just get, like, some sort of text message? Oh, there's your aunt. You're going to get in trouble. Iris is going to be like, oh, hi, sweetie. Are you still grounded? Because I have a feeling that they would definitely have talked a little bit about that. Because I think Lily is tired of other people coming over to her house to use her spaceship and then breaking it. What were you doing? Did you just want to get out of the house for a minute? Is that what that was about? Well, here, why don't you call up your alien boyfriend for a second? I don't know if we can sneak him over. Maybe we can sneak him over. Let's go ahead and try to sneak him over for a minute. Because I think she would definitely do that. I think she wants to exchange a kiss or two to kind of like console herself. And then we'll also have her go ahead and sell all of these flowers. Yeah, we're just going to kind of clear her inventory of more or less all of... Oh my gosh! What do you mean roses sell for so much when they're perfect quality? Tate is sitting on so much money! Okay, we're going to say this is like splitting funds with Tate. This is not all yeah, like... Uh, what? Okay. Okay, I'll, we're gonna say that Alia actually, like, Tate called up and he's like, actually, I have all this money. Oh, look, it's his, her little cousin. Let's do a little cheerful introduction of her little cousin. We're gonna say Tate was like, hey, I have, like, all this money from Alia helping me out at my gardening. And Lily and Zoe would have been like, what? But they would have taken it without Alia knowing because they're going to put it aside for her. Um, let's go ahead and let's see, ask about day and maybe school. This is her little cousin. So hi, Belle. Yeah, Belle is actually a cousin. So can we hug you? Are you okay with that? Oh, that's so sweet. I love having like the cousins just randomly meet up like this. It really means a lot to me just to see them like bump into each other and kind of fall in love as a family. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, let's go home because we need to see if we're going to see our boyfriend. Let's show off the outfit. Hey, don't tease. I think they're teasing each other and they actually like it. That's adorable. And we'll go look for Kay soon, because he should be popping by. Oh, look, and there's Tate. But yeah, we'll say Tate um, said, hey, I have all of the money that Alia earned when she was helping out at the house and volunteering at the garden with me. And they would have been shocked by how much money that was. And they would have said that they're going to go ahead. Is Kay over here yet? I don't see him just yet. But they will have secretly put it away in like a college fund for Alia without her knowing. So they, they're they going to also say that she's secretly kind of squared away on having destroyed the spaceship. But they're not going to let her know because they want her to go have a job and kind of have some responsibilities and sort of feel what that's like first. All right. And don't come over here and nap. Go back home. Because I want to see where your boyfriend shows up at. Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? I don't know if they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, Where is he? There he is. They're acquaintances. Just friends. 
Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Okay, who's that message from? Oh, that's so sweet. That's so cool. She just got a random message from Sherry. And Sherry is a manual laborer too. Oh, so they're coworkers. All right, well, I will send a text to her. Be like, hey, thanks. Super awesome of you. Where's Kay? I really want him to show up so we can exchange like a quick little peck on the lips. Little kiss. Um, chat. He's already nearby? <gasps> Where are you, my friend? Are you going to show up? Is he gonna like come to the house? Where is he? Was he going like where we had been? Is that where he is? I don't see him. There's Belle. Oh my gosh, it's always so hard to find him when you just invite them to like a generic lot. Uh, is he hiding in the bushes? Are we gonna find him? We'll have to see. We'll have to see if we can score a kiss from her alien, her alien Don Juan without her parents noticing. But until then, she can scavenge in here for parts and then throw this away. Because she is a bit of a collector. She really does love collecting things. That's one of the reasons she loves going up into space so often. But yeah, that's really cool. So she got a text from a new coworker. We don't really know much about Sherry, but we can meet with Sherry. That's pretty neat. We'll try to become friends with her. She's just digging in the trash. Like, there has to be something cool in here. I imagine that an alien actually wouldn't think that was too weird. Because he would be like, hey, human stuff is fascinating. Is he over here? Well, we'll just have to wait and see if he's going to, like, wander our way. Maybe because he's an alien, like, this is a bit of a confusing, confusing sim tradition. He doesn't really know what he's supposed to do. All right, and we'll see if we can finish cleaning. So that would be like, br oh, what were you doing in the house? <laughs> Talk about confusing alien traditions. There you are. Jeez. All right. And then let's go ahead. Ask about woohoo. I'm only laughing because he is an alien, so yeah, that makes sense that she might be a little bit curious, but now is not the time. You're in enough trouble as it is, young lady. Ah, so, so. <laughs> there you go. I think she would keep him down here, like, so that they don't wake up her mom. Let's see. Bright and day, compliment appearance. I think that she'd really want to come over and maybe snag a kiss. And then, let's see, romance. Let's do, can we do like a little kiss? Oh, we can do a hold hands. <gasps> that would be so sweet. Oh, now she's stinky. I think she's going to kick him out because she's, <laughs> I think she'd be a little bit self-conscious. She's be, she would be like, oh, well, you just, you know, you didn't show, you showed up kind of quickly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen this. I know aliens have been in the game for so long, but I've never seen this actually happen. What did he just do? What did he just do to her? Does it have a mood effect? What? That was amazing. Well, it did something. I think he read her thoughts about something. So that was interesting. All right. Well, um, I think she's just going to ask, have to ask him to leave right now, even though she really wanted to get a kiss from him. Because, you know, her other mom might be home any minute now. Zoe might wake up any second now. And she's stinky. So I think she'd be like... She like, sorry, school, so sorry. I'll see you later. All right, bye, buddy. Oh, that's so cute. I love the way, I just love the way that Alia is, she's generally a good kid, like under it all. Just she tends to get in a lot of trouble. Why is there still a, a puddle to mop up over here? I think she's gonna be like running around trying to clean everything before her mom wakes up because she spent some time like going and looking for treasure and chatting with Belle and she didn't do what she was supposed to. It's probably a really good thing actually that she's going to have to work for a boss pretty soon because she really doesn't have a lot of a sense of actually like getting the tasks done on time that she's supposed to. So this will be good. Oh good, man, she lucked out. <laughs> She looked out at the last second. Her mom comes downstairs to start making some chamomile tea. Just as she wraps up over here with cleaning the sink. So you really lucked out, ma'am. Even though you're miserable and stinky. We'll have you take like a brisk shower after you're done cleaning that. There you go. And then meanwhile, Zoe's just having a nice day. She needs to use the restroom, but she's going to have to wait for a moment. We'll have her chat with somebody on the phone. Let's have her call up Miriam. While she waits for her tea to finish. And I think Miriam might like 
grilled cheese. So maybe we'll invite Miriam over. In fact, we might start doing that like behind the scenes. Zoe might start calling over the friends that she's making from the Joy Club and just starting to get to know them a little better. But yeah, holy days, we have so much money now. We are not going to have to worry about anything because of all those plants that Alia had hidden in her inventory. I had no idea that those roses would be worth so much once they're perfect quality. So I would love to see what her alien plants are worth once they get to perfect quality. Also, we still need to do a bit of a makeover on the house, so that'll probably come up. I might wait till after Dine Out comes out so we can see what kind of other items there are, but we definitely need to add in another bathroom. Really noticing that pretty darn quick. And then let's also give Cassandra a little call just to make sure that she's doing well. Grab a cup of tea. And then I think that Zoe will start writing some books, both on alien diplomacy and also just like some joy books. Oh no, is she sick? Oh no! We'll take care of her. All right, and then somebody wants to visit with her Aunt Iris. Go ahead and use the restroom. Because once you get out of the restroom, everyone else has to crowd in it because there's not enough restrooms. <laughs> this is quickly becoming a major issue. And then we'll go ahead and let you have a quick meal of... Let's do some yogurt, I think. All right, there we go. We're getting there with our little Sims. And then any moment now, Lily should be home. And so the ladies should be able to chit chat with each other for a minute. Discuss their day. I think Lily might go out in the spaceship later too. All right, off you go, little grandma. No, don't call her. You're going to pee yourself. You can chit chat with her later. All right, I think Alia is just ready. She did all of her chores. Ah, oh yeah, that's the wrong direction. Alia did all of her chores. She's kind of stunned. Well, you're not supposed to walk in there. No wonder you're embarrassed. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and let her maybe view her fish for a second and then send her up to her room. Too bad she can't, you know, it's really weird. You can't view the aliens and kind of get a boost off of that. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's the dragon fruit plant. All right. Well, we'll have her take care of her garden. I think she would take care of her garden before going to bed because she absolutely loves her garden above everything else. That's why she likes going in space is to be able to take care of her garden. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and water you. Everybody else, it takes a little while to let the alien plants grow. And then we'll have her come up and take care of these guys. And then we'll have her go to bed. All right, so Alia is set for the day. As adorably troublemaking as she is. And Zoe is busy having a grand old time. She kind of wants to go look at the jellyfish too. But I think she's going to come upstairs. And we're actually going to have her start working on... We'll have her pay the bills so that that'll be done. And then... I'm going to put down a lot and we will definitely have them buy a lot and put down like a spaceship that they can build on it. And we're going to start working on the actual like space station agency. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, we'll say that Alia definitely has enough money to go to college. Oh my gosh. And Lily has earned a vacation day and brought home a lot of money too. I forgot just how much money she can make. It's quite a bit. It's significant. It's definitely significant. All right. So Alia's on her way to bed actually. And Lily wants to hug someone, so we'll have her come up and get to chat with her wife for a minute. Meanwhile, Zoe has paid the bills! Congratulations, Zoe! And I would love to have you start a social network. Can we do that with you? Alright, and Alia's off to bed. Yay! Alright, well, we'll continue working on that. Oh, you're almost done? Okay, well, we'll have to see how that social network thing goes. I've never done that before, so... Ooh! Invent new hashtags, update social network, donate to online, check total followers. We're going to have to see what that does, because that's adorable. Make a flirtatious joke, Zoe. And then Lily wants to hug someone. Embrace. And I think we'll go ahead and let them enjoy an evening in space. And then I think that should be pretty much good for them. So they're, they're having a good time. I think Zoe is just feeling much more relaxed and at peace. And they get to see each other again. Their old schedules really kind of kept them very far apart when they were both working so much. So there's clearly a lot to do around the home. But I think that Lily is able to see that Zoe is going to be able to like be happy. And Lily is definitely making enough money to be able to just support the family. And, you know, Zoe still wants to do some stuff. She still wants to do some work. She wants to be able to go and... um. Oh, it's so cute. Why are you guys so adorable? Ah, I was going to get a picture of you guys being adorable. But I guess that's okay. 
Well, that's going to fulfill their fun meter, that's for sure. But, and I really hope the ship doesn't crash and they die and orphan Alia. That would be terrible. <laughs> that would be so terrible. But yeah, they've definitely got enough money now. The bills are paid. We'll be able to redecorate the house and we'll be able to buy their big lot that they're going to use as the new space station. Because Lily is done having people come and borrow her spaceship, gosh darn it. No more of that nonsense. If people want to do the space station stuff, they can go through the proper space station agency that she's going to start. And then we will have Zoe contribute still, not only through doing her joy club so contributing in a more emotional way to the town but also writing some books on alien diplomacy that we'll try to sell and i also want to take all of the spore things that you can do and have my sims kind of uh like write up the tablets like if you guys remember spore or see our spore let's play there's tablets of prosperity and harmony that you can find and we'll pretend the sims are like translating that because i think that would be really cute all right are you guys almost done up there Oh, there we go. Oh, look at all the hearts. Look at all the hearts. There's so much, there's so much like success in space, I suppose. And I just love seeing it because so often people don't let their elders have just a great time. And they're so juicy. <laughs> well, maybe the elders are a little too old for this. Are your guys' hearts okay? Are you, are you both okay? Embarrassed? Oh, that's just from, that's just from something else. All right, well, they're doing good. And we'll just have a little suave kiss and then send them off to bed. But yeah, we're going to have a lot going on with this family. And I'm really excited for Lily and Zoe. Are you going to seriously kiss through the helmet? That's kind of a, that's kind of adorable. That's very adorable. And then we will go ahead and see what Alia is going to get up to. She's also still embarrassed. <laughs> Maybe she heard her parents get back and she's like, Oh, moms, this is so embarrassing. But yeah, we're going to continue working on them. But I am wondering if it's about time to go check in on Pine's family. Because little Fern is actually the one I really want to be able to enjoy dine out with when she is old enough. So we might go see how Fern's doing. And I haven't forgotten that we still need to get Belle settled into a new home with her mom. And make sure that she has the glow fruit. Or the grow fruit, I mean. That's a glowing fruit that she really needs. So, hmm. We'll have to see what we're going to work on next time. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.